We are going to solve this equation. We have 3x minus 2 times x plus 4, and this is equal to 24. Let me show you what's wrong first. Don't get too excited because we see we have two factors on the left hand side, but then don't just say, I'm going to set this is equal to that, and then say 3x minus 2 is equal to 24, and then x plus 4 is equal to 24, and then you continue from there, and you just go ahead and set that plus 2 on both sides, and then you get like uh, very, very nice like 3x equals to 26, and you get x is equal to 26 over 3, and this is like x is equal to after you subtract 4 on both sides, and then you get x is equal to 20, and things like that. It seems pretty sweet, right? It's like you can go from here to here, but then the problem is that this is not correct. Oh, really? Why not? The deal is that this was not equal to zero. We can only set a factor equal to zero and a second factor equal to zero. But then if this is not a number besides zero, we cannot do it. So this is what we have to do. We are going to first multiply this out and then minus 24 on both sides. So we have the zero on the run side, right? And then factor it and then we solve from there. So um, let's go ahead and factor, uh, multiply this out. We have 3x times x. That's going to give us 3x squared. And then we take 3x times 4. It's what? 12x. And let me just put down the result right here. Plus the 12x. And then we take negative 2 times x. That will be what? That's minus 2x. And you see, I just put down the result above and below because we know the outer product and the inner product we can combine like terms. So 12x minus 2x, that's plus 10x. At the end, we have negative 2 times positive 4, and that's minus 8. And then we then continue equals to 24. And that's subtract 24 on both sides. So we minus 24 here, they cancel, and then I put on minus 24. And we can combine the terms right here. So we have 3x squared plus 10x and minus, minus 8 minus 24. That will give us minus 32. And that's equal to 0. And now we are going to factor this out. This is 3 term polynomial. So we will do this by the tic tac method. What times will give us 3x squared? 3x and x, right? And now what times what will give us negative 32? We have a couple of possibilities now. 2, 16, right? And one of them have to be negative. And 4 and 8, one of them have to be negative, and things like that. But let me just tell you guys the correct answer for this. In our case, we are going to use negative 2 right here and positive 16 right here. Negative 2 times positive 16 will give us negative 36. And we see that if I take this 3x multiply with negative 2, we end up with negative 6x, and then 16 times x, that's 16x. Together, we do end up with the 10x that we want. So this is the correct combination. If you try factoring yourself and then you didn't get it right, then that means we just have to try another combination. But then just to save time, I was telling you guys the correct combination already. So sometimes it may take me a while to get the right combination first as well. But this is it, right? Right, so the factoring is going to be 3x plus 16 and then times x minus 2. And this is an equation equals to 0. And now we can finally set 3x plus 16 is equal to 0. And the second equation that we are going to get is x minus 2 is equal to 0. We can do it right here now, because this is a zero product property. It only works when we have zero on the right hand side. So let's subtract 16 on both sides right here. And then we get 3x equals to negative 16. And we can solve for x by divide both sides by 3. And that means x is going to be negative 16 over 3 for the first answer. And then for the second answer, we just need to add 2 on both sides this and that cancel and I get x is equal to 2. So this 2 right here will be the correct answer to this question. That's it and don't ever do this. <laughs>